When you hear about psychedelics, you probably think of something like this. But today, psychedelics have caught the attention of scientists and politicians because of their potential to revolutionize mental health treatment. Research into the therapeutic benefits of psychedelic drugs first started in the 50s and 60s, but it stopped in the early 1970s when psychedelics were made federally illegal. But as more and more cities and states pass decriminalization measures, the push for more research into psychedelic therapy is gaining momentum. Psychedelics are a class of psychoactive substances. They can cause a person to hallucinate or cause changes in perception, mood, and cognitive processes. Common psychedelics include LSD or acid, psilocybin, the active ingredient in magic mushrooms, and MDMA, otherwise known as ecstasy. In the brain, most psychedelics mimic the effects of serotonin, which is the neurotransmitter involved in mood and perception. These drugs increase the amount of disorganized neural activity, which lets the brain function in a less constrained manner. They also induce neuroplasticity, which is the brain's ability to change and reorganize thought patterns, which allows people to find new ways to process things like trauma and depression. Recent studies have suggested that when used in conjunction with traditional therapy techniques, psychedelics can treat a wide range of mental health conditions, and it's been especially successful for those who haven't had any luck with traditional methods. A 2021 study of patients with post-traumatic stress disorder found that two months after MDMA-assisted therapy, over half of the participants no longer qualified for a diagnosis of PTSD. In a 2020 study, patients with major depressive disorder who underwent two psilocybin treatments alongside psychotherapy showed decreased depression just four weeks later. Several studies have also shown that psychedelics have a low potential for addiction and do not cause any serious adverse side effects. This could potentially make them a good alternative to antidepressant medications, which are known to cause problematic side effects like suicidal ideation. Advocates say psychedelic therapy offers the promise of permanently healing trauma rather than continued daily doses of antidepressants. In Canada, doctors and university researchers are already exploring their use in larger clinical trials. In the US, there have been at least 10 published studies of psychedelic-assisted therapy with promising early results. But advocates are hopeful that steps toward legalization will allow for more research so we can further understand the scope of these drugs. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.